we love you. We thank you for tuning in. Um, please share, please like, subscribe. We've never said that on camera. Yeah. Share, yeah. like, subscribe, or do like and subscribe. Down here. Yeah, okay. I feel like Maybe smash we'll that like button. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> that, something like that. Something like that. Share with your best <laughs> friend. Share. share with your crush. Share with your ex lover. Share with your share in 2019 and in 2020. To be honest, like this is like our like first time actually like talking from a camera. Um, we, well, we well, did the trailer, really. yeah, the trailer, yeah, yeah, but we, we haven't really sat down and, I mean, he's yeah. got his tea, I got my water. The questions that you guys asked us were very deep. It wasn't like, oh, what's your favorite outfit? No, you asked, like, like what are your biggest challenges and things like I that. like that, I yeah. like that. We can't, love you. Can't wait for your response, thank you very much. <laughs> this week we're switching it up a little bit. Um, a lot of people, a lot of you have been asking us to tell uh, more about ourselves. You want to hear us speak on camera. You want to know more about our relationship. Oh, and so we reached out on social media and asked um, if you have any questions for a Q&A YouTube video. Welcome to Yanks and Chels again. We have some questions that, you know, some of our fans and some of our friends and family would um, like to know about us. The first question was from at Bad Beans or Baddy Beans and the question asked how did you guys meet? So um, <laughs> um, Yake lived in Lowell which is outside of Boston mm -hmm. and I'm from Baltimore so I actually had a best friend at the time who uh, lived in Boston and so I went up to see her for the weekend. It was going to be a girls weekend. We were going to Boston to hang out in, at an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. um, but at the time, <laughs> at the time he was dating, or no, at the time my best friend was dating his younger brother. And so he convinced Yake to come out with us and that was the first time I met him. So I met him at the Airbnb before we went out. And um, it was just kind of funny because when I first um, saw Chelsea, I was like, I was like, man, who was this girl? And she just wasn't giving me the time of day or nothing like that. And um, you know what she was like, I'm like, <laughs> like Hard to get, basically. I was able to talk her out of it. I swear, like, you know, like, yo, I feel like I truly, truly deserve you, and this is why. And ever since then, now we're here. Uh, that's not how it went at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not how it went. All right. So, he's from Sierra Leone, and he has an accent. And so, when I first met him, I didn't understand anything he was saying. So, number one, I was eating Chipotle, which I love Chipotle. Um... I feel like a lot of people love Chipotle, but he told me that he doesn't like Chipotle, and I was like, okay, I don't like you already. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand what he, he was saying. He didn't like Chipotle. Um, yeah, and then he took a nap. He was on his phone the whole time, and then he took a nap before we went out, and I'm like, who does that? Um, when you just show up to hang out with everyone, and then you're like, bye, I'm gonna go take a nap. Yeah, because I was all for like two days of like you know <laughs> before I met you so so anyway so we went so, out we went to um, the first club but we weren't able to get in or something mm -hmm. and um, I didn't know he liked me until this moment because he got a call a phone call from his ex and I was standing right next to him and he was like oh this is my ex and he, he was like I'm not gonna answer it or something I'm like here we go <laughs> Obviously, he's interested in me. Um, but I was like, I don't have time for the nonsense. So I was just here for the girls' weekend. And then we went to the second club. We had a lot of fun. You started to show your gentleman side towards me. You know, like... As always, I am. Um, he gave me his coat, things like that. And That's how you do it, <laughs> I wasn't really... I mean, it was very nice, but I was never thinking that I wanted to be with him. Next he question. Other part. <laughs> Do you coordinate outfits together? No. We don't coordinate our outfits together. Um, 
No. We don't. We don't even think don't. about that, to be honest. Yeah, we're really Unless don't. we're doing, like, the matching YouTube video we did or cute couple, do we do outfits. cute couple outfits? Yep. Um, when we had the um, button-down shirts on, uh -huh. and that was kind of matching. Mm -hmm. But when we go out, we don't really, I mean, like, right now, we look like a crayon box. Yeah, we do. <laughs> well, not really. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Another question from at Body Bins, and it reads, can we get uh, more videos with some dialogue from the two of you? I feel like your personalities will be dope. We've talked to a lot of um, you guys and have said that we're trying to do a mixture of videos. Mm -hmm. So we want to do videos with talking, um, videos without. Um, and it's not wrong. Follow this on that. Um, we want to start to do more storytelling, so like girl meets boy, you know, wearing certain outfits. Uh, we have a lot of things up our sleeves. We have um, so many ideas that we're actually like trying to bring to life and it will take some time. The next question comes from at Truly Ami. She asks, what keeps you guys motivated to keep striving towards your goals? What actually uh, motivates me is the fact that I get to wake up every day doing what I love to do and I am also, you know, trying to uplift somebody out there. As you know, as it's um, written in the book of Matthew, it says that we should shine our light in front of man so that our Father in heaven will be glorified. You have to, like, show your gift and you have to, you know, like, show the world how mighty and how great Heavenly Father is, and by that, somebody else, um, world, the light will be, you know, um, impacted. So, um, I have a blog called Empower Palette, I've had it since 2016, 16? yeah. Um, and then Nyake has his um clothing company, Golden Brand Baby, Zulu which Bo. is Zulu Bow, and then we have. This channel, Nyake and Chels, or Nyaks and Chels. Nyaks and Chels, yeah, come on. Um, so for me, what keeps me motivated is I believe that I have a purpose on this earth, that God has given me a purpose. I believe that you can have multiple purposes, not just one. Um, and we want to use our um, company's brands, blog, whatever, to help other people. Like with this channel, it's about inspiring other people to feel confident and beautiful in their own skin. And, you know, being confident in what you wear and how you present yourself. And with my blog, it's about, you know, empowering women in their skin to feel beautiful and confident and to go make waves. And then for Zulubo, it's about um, helping, especially young... Um, young men, yeah. um, you know, like how to properly um, dress well and not to sag your pants. As a black man in America, it's already hard enough as it is. So if, if you're just kind of like um, sagging your pants and acting like a gangster, it's, that's not cool, brother. I'm yeah. gonna need you to put on some bow tie and I'm gonna need you to put on some suspenders and- Yeah, it's about, you are it's a about black knowing king. that you're a, yeah, a king and a queen. You're a king and queen. So and we're motivated by it helping others it's not really like oh we want to make money and we want we want ourselves. yeah we want all these clothes and it's never been about any of that for us and also um to all the black women out there i firmly believe that you're beautiful just as you are you are you're smart you're bold you're kind next question um these are two questions this actually comes from my brother at nb underscore null so follow him thank you family so he asked what was the inspiration for starting a youtube channel wow this actually this the story of starting nyax and shells actually starts with nyake so it was my uh, roommate and a friend of mine called Olf. at one point you know i was gonna um start that with Olf. But okay. It didn't, it didn't really work out. But okay. And then yeah. there was a second person, right? Oh, uh, yes, my um, ex roommate. So he, you've been trying to do this for how many years now? Set up a channel with someone else? Three years? Three years and counting. Yeah. 
Yeah, so apparently he brought the idea up to me about um, us doing a fashion channel, not just fashion, but also relationship talk because he loves to talk to give relationship advice. He feels like I'm he's like Steve Harvey Jr. when it comes to um, love matchmaking or whatever it's called. Matchmaking? I'm the African hitch. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> apparently he brought the idea up to me. I don't remember any of this at all. I don't remember him bringing this up to me. And then one point, I think we were in the car, we were driving somewhere and he brought it up. Yes. And I was like, nah. Actually, I um, watched you in the living room and I told you, I was like, hey, they got this on YouTube channel. And you're like, oh, nah, 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 I don't know, I'm not feeling that, I'm not feeling it. And then right once we started driving mm -hmm. is when you're like, oh, actually, I think it would be a good idea. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was it, just it's super, like it I'm came like, out of nowhere to me. I was all of a sudden, like, I was, I was just, shocked. All of a sudden, I was just 100% on board. I don't know what changed. I don't know if it was God, like, Put something on my heart or what all right the next question from my brother at mb underscore no is what are some of the biggest challenges y'all face creating content for youtube which i love this question because there are a lot of challenges that you face creating content for youtube that i would have never thought of unless i was a youtube content creator the two biggest challenges we face are changing um so we go to a location so basically we figure out what locations we're going to shoot at yep. and then when we go there we have to find somewhere to change, change. so we've been in porter potties in 90 degree weather so just think of like the heat hitting the porter potties and, and you're changing and you're sweating gross. yes um <laughs> yeah. priceless right yeah. and um and then there's also the times, I mean, now it's winter, so, yes, and, and now it's freezing, light. you know, your fingers are freezing. I'm light skinned, so I'm trying not to look red, because I'll get red in the um, winter time a little bit. And I'm dark skinned, you know, I'm like trying to get so ashy. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? We also get creepers. When we're shooting, we've had two Blood creepers so far. So we were in the cut, and there were it's where they kept all their trash cans or whatever for this huge, like, castle looking building. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy who was leaving out of the parking lot, and he, like, caught a glimpse of us. And he was just, wasn't he just, like, so he was driving out, and he just stopped the car, his car, right? Mm -hmm. And was just, like, staring at us. Yeah. I don't know if he thought we were like trying to do trying to steal something or I don't know what he thought we were doing but it was also really like he was just staring and we're like trying to oh. change <sighs> yeah I don't know that's a lot and then we were at another location and we ended up changing outfits in a car and there was a guy parked in front of us and mm -hmm. he kept watching, he, he was watching both of us. Yeah, some old guy, I'm like, I'm like yeah. oh, bro, what are you doing? And then he yeah. was just like, I'm yeah. like, yo, come on, guy. So challenges we have, um, the weather. The weather, the weather, a place to change, and a place for like our suitcases. Yeah, so, so how we shoot is, we pick out all our outfits for how many videos we're going to shoot at once because mm -hmm. we batch content. So we have multiple, we usually shoot multiple YouTube videos in a day. Yeah, so we shoot like four videos in a day. Or t more like four, like two in a day. So we do, we try okay, to... Okay, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so like, <laughs> We're trying to explain so, this so you can understand. So it's like two a day, yeah. Yeah, so when we're organized, we try to shoot two days back to back. So we shoot two videos one day, two videos another day that we have, that way we have four videos for the month. We pick out all our outfits for each video topic, then we put them in suitcases, mm -hmm. then we bring the suitcases with us to the location, and then we have to find somewhere to lay out our suitcase. nice suitcases. It's a, it's a That's lot. Rough. That's rough. For some reason, you know, I thought we are just gonna be pulling on, you know, uh, clothes and then just shoot. But no, it's actually a lot of work behind it. I swear, like the night be before the shoot. <clears throat> so the night uh, before, you would have to make sure that our uh, clothes are ready. And 
it has like it has to be in order from like you know from like what you'll be wearing first second and third mm -hmm. and then you have to make sure the other side of your suitcase is you know um packed up with with your shoes and it's just a lot of work behind it so now whenever you know i'm on youtube and i'm watching somebody else's video or whatsoever the case might be i don't i don't take it for granted like i really like appreciate what mm -hmm. they do and how they do it regardless you know if i may not like it but like i appreciate the work behind it mm -hmm. uh channel that we really like to shout out a channel is um the daily dropout um and they do a lot of prank videos they work and there's one where it's um awkward phone calls on an escalator i don't know if you've seen it but um the girl goes down on an escalator and has some random crazy phone call and then you're seeing the reaction of the people around her yeah. and then so she goes down the es escalator with them and she goes back up the steps and then she has to run back down the steps to catch them to say oh hey it was a prank this is a youtube video can i can we put you on our youtube video that right and she there, has to do that every work. time so you're watching it and you're just thinking it's continuous or you know it's funny you're laughing but if you really think about it she's going up and down up and down talking to all these people it's a lot of work that's like a marathon mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so am i reading the next one or do you want to read i got it so the next that, one is from your dilemma, your dilemma. dilemma. oh your dilemma mm -hmm. right. so the next question is from your dilemma okay underscore your dilemma underscore so she says, I'm new to your story. D um, do you mind telling me more about your aspirations separately and how the other has helped you move forward in achieving those dreams? Mm -hmm. Wow. Your dilemma. That was a dilemma question. <laughs> oh. You want to start? Um, I mean, we already said about, so I have a, the blog and power about, he has his clothing brand, Zulu Bo. Mm -hmm. Um, and we help each other out. I mean, I've helped him with his website and um, I do a lot of the gra graphics. Can I say that? Yeah. I do a lot of the graphics that you might see um, on his Instagram and things like that. I've also done a lot of the graphics on his website. I mean, it goes both ways. If I need help or I'm having issues, um, I'm having like blo writer's block or something, mm -hmm. not being able to find a new topic for the blog. He'll help me out or try to help me relax and things like that. We're really supportive of each other and each other's dreams. I think we allow each other to grow, but we also challenge each other. And if we think something is S-H-I-T, then we'll tell each other we'll that it. it's that. <laughs> it might hurt. It might hurt. It's all about teamwork, mm -hmm. knowing who you're with mm -hmm. and knowing how the other person, you know, um, operates, operates and, and do things. So if she, she's going through like any type of thing like i know how to make her mind go like you know like relax i know how to calm her down and right when she gets back to work <clears throat> she's very very productive i would mm -hmm, say mm -hmm. yeah and there are times you know if her work is not that good <laughs> they i don't know this one name man it's all right it's all right like, you know but then it's like I'm not just gonna come to her and say, hey, oh, I don't think your work is good enough. I feel like this is what you can do. This is how you should do it. And it's just kind of like the same thing, you know, if I make a graphic uh, and then, you know, I show it to Chelsea, she'll be like, oh, man, baby, that shit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so I, I make a lot with. of the graphics and he'll try to make a graphic and then he'll be like, oh, I'm gonna post this and I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. She'll be like, mm, nah, I got it with this here. But oh, yeah. there's a difference between being honest with each other and then hurting each other's feelings. So mm -hmm. there are ideas that Nyake has had, and I'm sure I've had, where I don't shut down his ideas. I just let him roll with it. And then maybe later on, he's like, okay, that wasn't a great idea. But a lot of times people have to figure these things out on their own. So sometimes it, I mean, knowing who you're with, sometimes it's, it's appropriate to say, no, uh, I don't think this is a good idea and why. And sometimes it's, it's, you know, you just have to give them space and let them figure it out on their own because it is their own dream, their own aspiration. And I think with everything that we have, the blog, his 
clothing and the YouTube is just, we want to reach a larger audience. We do. Um, it's not about being famous for us or like the recognition. We just know that when there's a larger audience, we'd be helping more people. Absolutely. And <clears throat> so whoever is out there that's in a healthy relationship, right? You need to be able to take constructive criticism. If you cannot handle your partner saying to you, or you know, like, oh, I don't think what you're doing is right and you should change it, then I don't think you should be in your relationship. I'm sorry to say, but you have to be able to take constructive criticism. All right. What's the next right, question? Next question. <clears throat> so the next question is by your dilemma. It reads, have you guys gotten acclimated to each other's culture? That is a great question. I am from Sierra Leone, West Africa, and Chelsea is obviously from here. So um, there are like certain ways and um, that people from Sierra Leone do things in terms of like, you know, like the Women are supposed to be, you know, like um, so cooking and making sure, uh, making sure that you know that the house is clean and yada yada yada. But over here, it is that's not how it is, <laughs> and, and you know, it, it was just kind of like a shock for me. But you know, at the same time, it really wasn't because I am quick to like adapt, adapt to things. A friend of mine once told me this. And I will never forget it. He was like, yo, Nyak, you're like, you're a strong black African man. And for you, when it's, if you were to marry a woman from here, I think you would have a hard time like adjusting. Having like that alpha like personality that you have, he said it would be very difficult. And time passed by and I've, I've been dating women from, you know, from the U.S. who aren't African. And, um, and I came to find out, and mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, this kid was right. Mm -hmm. I don't control, but, like, I tell, like, yo, like, I want this done. Mm -hmm. This is how I want it done. I'm that type of man. Like, I am that type of man. And there are times where, like, you know, the woman will be like, hey, I'm not doing that. Hey, you know what time you want to do. Yeah, shut up. But no, it, no, I wouldn't say that. Okay. But it's like, it was kind of hard. Yeah, I mean, he told me that the way he was raised, the woman did everything. His aunts, his moms, everything, grandmothers, they would cook clean. They would always, you know, if um, a husband had left dishes behind, the woman would always clean it up, pick it up, all that type of thing. So, I mean, he never really worked. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm a good cook too. Um, I'm a good cook. I actually learned this the hard way with him because mm -hmm. I was at um, a family member's house of yours. My aunt's house. Yeah, and um, he asked me. This was the first time they met me, wasn't it? I think so. I firmly believe so. And he wanted juice, and he was like, "Can you go um, get me some juice from the kitchen or something mm -hmm. like that? A glass of juice." And I was like, no. And I mean, he seemed like annoyed in the moment, which I think anyone would be when you're lazy and you want, or not necessarily lazy, but you want someone else to do something for you. Um, and so I didn't think much of it, but then later that night when we were alone, he was like, it really embarrassed me that you didn't get me juice. And I'm like, what? embarrassed you like i didn't understand you know what i mean i was like i didn't understand just because i wouldn't get you a glass of juice you were embarrassed and so he explained to me you know his culture and his background and i totally understand you know we're coming from two different worlds and so we've had to mesh those two together we both cook we both clean um thankfully we both cook well and um, we just make it work. It's been a compromise. And it was actually funny because, so at his aunt's house, one of his cousins was there and she never liked any of the people that, any of the girls that Nyake dated before, but she liked me a lot. 
and he was like, and I was shocked. Yeah, he was like, she's never liked anyone before. She never and she, liked nobody. she told me one time, she was like, I really like you because she was like, you don't put up with this bull ish. <laughs> she was like, I like that you say no. <laughs> I'm my own woman, I do my own things. Okay, now. Can I read one? Right, sure, if you want. All right. So, from At Your Dilemma, a lot of people ask multiple questions. So she asked, what type of traditions from your own families would you like to continue on? Um, to be honest, my family doesn't have traditions, in my opinion. As for me, um, from my dad's side of the family, um, there were times when we, when I was actually growing up, my grandfather would make sure that everybody was dressed up, wear a, a table and eat and dinner. So that's something I would oh, that's nice. like to keep up. we like, you know, my, <clears throat> at our home, our kids are gonna be dressing up in a bow tie, obviously, uh -huh. and, a, and a nice suspenders. Wait, what? Yeah, for real. And well, sorry, you threw me because be, you said our kids. You threw uh, me off on that one. Yeah, I said our kids. Mm -hmm. Our future kids. Yeah, right. So we are going to be sitting at a table, um, eating dinner, and that's something I would definitely want to continue because it taught me how to be a well-trained human being and a best-dressed man. Yeah, I think it teaches, based on what you're saying, it probably teaches etiquette and also there's a lot of people who don't dress up because they are they don't feel that confidence, they don't feel that boldness to wear a bow tie or to wear suspenders or, you know, to, to dress up, wear heels, things like this. Mm -hmm. And I think that you were probably taught that at a young age, which is I'm why it's so age. easy for you to dress up when a lot of other people aren't dressing up. Yep, exactly. And then she also asks um, the funniest memory of the other. Do you have a funny memory of me? For me, to be honest, I think for, for me it's like a memory and more of like a, a scare, kind of. It, it was the first time I met her parents, and it was over the phone. And mind you, now, oh, we gotta back up mm. on this story. You gotta start from the <laughs> No, I don't. I'm uh -huh. start from right here. No, 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 no. I would say this is kind of like funny and and also kind of like a scare, right? When there was a time when I planned on taking Chelsea to London. But I haven't met her, her parents yet. So they set up like a fist sign so that, you know, um, I'll be able to talk to them and know, you know, the type of guy I am, yada, yada, yada. So I had come, um, I just came back from work and I worked, I think, like 14 hours or so, right? At Enterprise. Came back home tired. I just had a, a tank top on. Man, I was sitting in front of the, um, my phone and her dad was like, hey, so what's up, man? <laughs> like her dad has like this um, accent from, from like the South, kind of, and he talks fast. So I was like talking to him and I can't like really understand him. I was talking to her dad and her dad was just drilling me with questions, 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 and her mom is mad chill. Her mom was just in the background, like, you know, like, chill, laughing. And the dad was, like, all serious, like. I mean, but you would be the same. Where are you guys going to London? You would be the same. Where are you guys going to stay? How long are you guys going to stay there? Like, what? I'm like. You would have done the same thing. Don't lie. I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, is this 60 minutes? Or is, is this me taking your daughter to London? But. I mean, you were, yeah. he was taking me, I mean, he was taking me to a whole other continent. And then my parents had never met him. So if you are a father. And your daughter is being me. exactly. She probably so, won't go. I'm but kidding. what made I was pissed because he wore a freaking freaking tank top to on FaceTime to meet my parents a tank top. And afterwards, my mom was like, "Why did he have a tank top?" And I was like, "I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I wanted to." call him out on it during the phone call but I wasn't gonna do that in front of my parents and I texted you afterwards and I was like WTF I think you no I think I did you and, should have called and him. he was like and he was like oh I just came from work 
And I'm like, well, don't you think it's important that you dress? If this is how he dresses, isn't it important for him to dress like that when he's meeting my parents? But, but, uh, but, uh, I, I just came from work. I was trying to go to the shower, excuses. And shower up. Excuses. That's some excuses, baby. You know that's how it is. Mm, right. Finding memory. You don't have one. Yeah, I, I don't really think I've. Not been. yet. A lot of people ask me personally whether I eat African food, whether I like African food. Um, the first time I had African food was in London. Yeah, and I liked it. So I'm vegan, um, but I did have potato leaves. I had. Um, cassava leaf. Um, what else do I have? I don't remember. But I really like both of those. I really like potato leaves a lot. Um, he didn't think I was going to like African food. So I think a lot of people are surprised that I like it, but I do. Um, we don't cook it a lot. Um, we just do every once in a while we have jollof or jollof rice. Or um, all of my Africans love Or that. he makes stew. Which is funny because there's also like different things that I've experienced that I didn't know about his culture. Mm. He was always saying, I'm going to make stew, I'm going to make stew. And I'm thinking like American stew, like the hearty stuff you have for winter with we like beef that. in it and big carrots and potatoes and to comfort you, comfort your soul during winter time. Bad. <laughs> and um, so he kept saying he was making stew and every time he made stew, it was like, a sauce and I'm like this is a sauce not African stew word. yeah so little things like that um I've learned <laughs> and I'm gonna sip some water hmm. oh my okay. phone didn't die can you check my phone real quick <laughs> <laughs> yo I can't imagine what oh it's that big are you serious yeah <laughs> oh my god oh, I'm kidding oh okay I'm about to live in London. I don't know about you. I'm gonna live in France. So. Well, I guess we'll be. I'm gonna have a home in France too. Okay. Well, well, we, we, we should have, have one together. Yeah. All, All right. right. We just want to say once again, thank you very much thank for you. you know for the time you take to um, watch our videos. Yes. We want to thank you for the time you take to ask us questions. We thank you for your love we thank you for your support we thank you for your kindness mm -hmm. we thank you for for you mm -hmm. we thank you for you yeah and we also thank you for um coming to us for fashion advice that definitely means a lot to us it does. and since we've started the youtube channel um, more of my friends and his friends have been reaching out you know what to wear with what at what occasion and at what time during the year and that's been really exciting for us it has been bye love you all